That's right, I'm back. I'm relaunching my channel because quite honestly I missed it and so much has changed in my life. Honestly, pretty much everything. It's pretty much a new chapter. As you can see, this is not my New York apartment. I am in Mariposa, all the way across the country in California, right by Yosemite National Park. And I wanted to share all these outdoor adventures with you and all this new stuff. So I figured I would focus this channel on climbing, hiking, outdoor adventures, outdoor gear, all that kind of stuff, since I'm literally in one of the best places in the country for it. And I even get to do stuff like try to grow a lawn, which is still a work in progress. And I have a huge backyard. Well, another work in progress. And I have this room where I can either build stuff or hide bodies. And yes, eventually I'll do all the youtube stuff like give you a house tour. But all of that can wait for another day because today we're going on an adventure. I'm gonna meet my friend Chris who's a phenomenal climber and we're gonna climb one of the most popular routes in Yosemite which is about a 500 foot climb called Nutcracker. And it's usually really busy but it's 106 degrees outside today so it shouldn't be very busy. We're just insane enough to do it. First, let's talk about some of the things that I bring with me when I climb. Number one on days like this, sunscreen because otherwise I would be a burned mess and always wear sunscreen. Trust me, I'm the sunscreen. I'm bringing this little sleeve. This is what I put my whoop in so I can monitor my activity when I'm climbing. I have my climbing harness, very important because you know you don't want to die. Attached to my chalk bag and these little outdoor research hand jammies. New favorite shoes. Unparalleled moccasins, they're awesome. They're easy to slip on and off while you climb. And yeah, water bottle, always keep, stay hydrated. Big carabiner and this guy, which is called a grigri. The rope goes through this and allows you to let rope out while the first person climbs. Camera, probably not bringing a big guy today, probably just bringing the GoPro. We're gonna get all this stuff packed, go meet Chris, and then head to Yosemite and do this 500 foot climb in the crazy heat. All right, so if you're looking at the gear I packed and we're thinking that doesn't seem like a lot of stuff to do a 500 foot climb, you're 100% right. There's a lot of more gear that Chris is gonna bring, which includes ropes and a lot of the protection that we put into the, the rock so that if we fall, we don't end up tumbling to our deaths. So I got super lucky to, to have him as a friend and as a kind of a mentor on the whole climbing stuff. All right, this is Chris's car. Yo, dude. Yo. I'm throwing my stuff in your trunk. What's up? This will be an interesting day. I want to. I don't know what you can, if you can do it. I mean, this is hot. We'll find out. We'll find out. How long have you been climbing in Yosemite? Uh, like 25 years or something. Are you uh, what they would call a, a dirtbagger at some point in your life? Dirtbag. A person who lives usually illegally in Yosemite, sleeps in caves and under boulders, and usually subsists off of tourists' leftover food. I was a seasonal employee <laughs> that had friends I could stay with and, and um, you know, I, I worked when needed and... This is also written a guidebook for Yosemite and climbed El Cap like 30 plus times? Something like that there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I kind of stopped counting. What's special about um, about the climb we're doing today? So this was put up uh, with nuts back in, I think, 1965. Could be sooner, earlier, by uh, Royal Robbins. It was the first time Yosemite route was put up without pitons. Our game today is to place and you have you remove all the gear properly and stay organized and and make it up the, to the top of the wall yeah yeah we don't even have a way of getting down we have to go up to the top there's you need two ropes to get down we brought one if i don't make it to the top i'm just stranded on the wall yeah yeah I'll, sweet, yeah, sweet. Yeah, so i brought cool, a knife cool, cool. in case i have to cut you free <laughs> <laughs> i got goals to chase i got roads to pay not yet where i want to be but i got close today i went ghost today I got least to say I be focused on these dreams like I didn't sleep today Y'all can be so amazed Y'all ain't seen nothing like this No matter how much I fight this 
So we're at the spot where we're grabbing all the gear. We're doing a little hike to the climb. Is that right? Yeah. Well, it's a short hike, but yeah. Short hike. Like a jaunt. Got all the bags. Chris has all the snacks because he's like the mom. Love snack. Hi. We're going up that. That guy. Yeah. These are the cams mm -hmm. that stick in the cracks. Mm -hmm. nuts and these are the nuts that stick in the cracks that you're talking about. And all the carabiners and you have rope somewhere I'm assuming. Oh yeah, rope over there. Crack climbing, you literally wedge your hand inside cracks and make a fist or a different shape with your hands or your fingers. And then all of your weight is pretty much hanging on that. So these gloves that Chris has on helps make sure that your hands aren't raw and that the skin hasn't been completely torn off as we go up this, this thing. That's actually a bear locker. So we put all our gear in that so that when we come back down here, the bear isn't into all of our stuff and we can have an enjoyable little post climb ramen. As long as I don't fall and die on this since this is only like the second uh, multi-pitch thing I've ever climbed. Yeah, I don't know what it's like to climb 100 degree heat. I'm wearing a helmet. I'm gonna put extra gear in. It's slippery out, you know? I wanna make sure that. Yeah, great, uh, good for <laughs> first multi pitch with yeah. Chris. Yeah, let's get a storm for your other one. Yeah. How are we gonna do it at 100 degrees? Yeah, if you haven't seen the, the first time I actually, first time I ever climbed a multi pitch was with Chris, and it was in this gnarly storm came in at Larches, which is a super famous thing, and the link to the video is actually down below. <laughs> Chris is making fun of me because I literally have Birkenstocks hanging off my back for the for the hike down. But as soon as he gets this slack in, then I'll do this short first pitch and we'll be on the way. It's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful view of Yosemite on this climb. Stoked. All right, here we go. You like it? Got a little winded on that first pitch. Yeah, how was the underplaying section? I was not expecting that. There's one flake that feels gnarly. Yeah, it's a little looser, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't fall, so I was very happy. Yeah, come on down over here. Here we go. Whew, whew, one pitch down. Look okay. at this view, though. Are you going to pay to be on the rope in a second? Yeah, this is pretty much why I climb. Yeah. It's just, it's just for this view. So here's the deal. Chris climbs up, as you can see, he is taken the rope and he has gone all the way up. He is up there, which is the end of the next pitch or like pitch is like the segment. There's five segments to this climb. So he's up there at the top of the third segment. I'm waiting here for him to create an anchor, like a really good solid point to, to hold me from. So I help him take the rope as he goes up and he puts protection in. Then I come up after he's secured the rope and I take the protection out. And so we do that all the way up the, up until the top of the, the climb so yeah absolutely gorgeous and climbing pretty much started in Yosemite especially big wall climbing so it's kind of magical learning to climb outdoors here a little leap of faith we have to walk out to this little thing Let's see if I can record this All right, we made it, and uh, yeah, up the pitch we go. So these are the parts where I'm super not comfortable with, with climbing yet, when we're just dangling by an edge with uh, some gear holding us in, in between pitches. Chris is like a monkey up here, he doesn't care at all. Me, still getting used to this, this feeling. And then I got so focused on actually climbing that I forgot to take any more video until the top. Fuck yeah, we made it! Woo! What's that behind? Is that El Cap? Yeah, it's El Cap. Huh. That's El Cap. Huh. That, right that felt way harder than arches. Yeah, it was much harder than. Oh arches. my god! Look at that sunset. Yeah. Woo! Another climb in the books. <laughs> what was it? All the way down there. <laughs> 
Uh, now music and hike down, uh, and life is good. <sighs> Unparalleled, killed it on this climb, so comfy. But now, we're switching to the Burks. Coming to Burks and Unparalleled, talking match made in heaven, boys. Chris is known for taking me down like super gnarly descents after we climb and telling me they're super chill, but this one is actually not so bad. Easy. This is that easy. Post climbing ramen. Chris is cleaning up all the gear. This is like tradition. We started at probably two and a half hours. We're on route at five, you think? Yeah. And then we were done at like 7.30, so two and a half hours? Yeah. Yeah, two and a half hours. Yeah, you did great. Thank you. Yeah. You already had two thumbs up. Isn't that amazing? Best, best climb ever, huh? Dude, it was really good. Worth all the hype. It's really good. Yeah. Alright Chris, what's next? Uh, it'll be a and here I am trying to revive this channel a little bit with a, a different spin on it. If you noticed, it was not the easiest filming while I was climbing. There's a ton of a ton of the climb that I just didn't get to record because I was too busy kind of climbing and trying to focus 100% on what I'm doing. Especially when you're a couple hundred feet in there, it gets a little bit scary. And like I said, this is only the second route I've gone up in Yosemite that was multi-pitch and that high up. I would love to know what else you guys would like to see. Drop uh, drop those drop those ideas into the comments or hit me up on Instagram at morewheelie and we'll see. Lots more stuff coming. See you, see you on the next adventure.